Hello friends, this is Moses Ali from Leicester. It is such a privilege to be part of daily devotional reading. Saint Augustine once said, Salvation is God's way of making us real people. Today we will be reading from Book of Romans, chapter number 10, from verses 12 to 15. We will be focusing on the theme of salvation for everyone and mission. If you have your Bible with you, I would encourage you to go to Book of Romans chapter 10. If not, we will read together. From verse 12. For there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. From verse 12 to 13, Apostle Paul quotes from Jewel 2.32. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. God bestows his savings richly on all of us. Jews and Gentiles who calls on him as seen verse 14 is linked with verse 13 with the word call in verse 15 Paul quotes from Isaiah chapter 52 verse 7 since salvation comes from hearing the gospel the feet of those who bring the good news the message about Jesus Christ are beautiful because the feet carry to carry the messengers to their destinations. That is why Paul was so urgent about spreading gospel to the ends of the world. Henry Martin, famous 18th century missionary for the people of India and Persia, once said, The Spirit of Christ is the Spirit of Missions. The nearer we get to him, the more intensely missionary we become. In 1732, a Dutch ship left Copenhagen Harbor for the Danish West Indies. In Philip Edinson's book, The Lord of the Ring, he tells us about two men, John Lenhard Dober and David Nishman from Morbian community of Hornhout. They were among the first missionaries to be sent out in Protestant church history. The first to go as lay workers, rather theologically trained ministers. The first to be sent by a church rather than a state body or society. And the first to work among the slaves. Dobor and Nishman had wanted to sell themselves into slavery. When they were prevented from doing so, they instead took manual jobs on plantations so that they could have close access to the slaves they were trying to reach. By the end of the century, this tiny village of 300 people were responsible for sending around 1,000 missionaries to, virtually to the, every part of the known world. It is said that Dover and Nishman called out to their loved ones on the shore as the ships pulled away from the docks to go to Caribbean. May the lamb that was slain receive the reward of his suffering. These two men were willing to go to the extremes, leaving everything traveling to the far reaches of the world. For the love of Jesus Christ and a longing that Jesus might receive his reward. A people from every tongue 
and tribe and nation. I'm going to leave this question with you before we pray together. What if God were to ask you champion the gospel in ways that have never been done before to forge a path for others to follow? Let's pray. God of rescue and restoration, we thank you for your great and beautiful mission in the world. We pray for the seed of gospel that have been sown all over the world by missionaries, many of whom were martyred. Bring life to the seeds that will spring up again. Here we are, Lord, fill us with your spirit and send us to spread your good news. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. There's a link to the worship song probably above or below the video in the description. I would encourage you to listen to that worship song as well. Thank you.